Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video here on Google AdSense. I don't know if you're familiar with using AdSense, if you've heard much about it, but it's a great way to monetize a website. I don't know if it's actually so great a way, but it is a way to monetize your website. You can put links and people that click on those links pay you a bit of a uh, commission for having the link there and providing them with a click-through to their site. So anyway, you need an account, a Google account. That can be your Gmail account, or you can make a separate account um, just for using it with Google AdSense. So I'm going to sign in with my Gmail account. And here we are. Now you're always brought to the report page, but we're going to set up an ad right now. So we'll go to the second tab here, AdSense Setup. And the first item on the list is AdSense for Content. Now we're going to edit this ad unit. We're going to make this time uh, a text ads only so I can show you the difference in the options. You, so you select add unit and click continue. Now you've got many different options here in terms of size including the uh, vertical skyscrapers and the banners and many different types of rectangles and horizontal banners, okay, and a few squares. I'm going to make a 120 by 600 skyscraper to go into the left column of my a sidebar. In my palette, I'm going to pick the graphite this time. You'll see it pre-fills this with um, some hexadecimal numbers that stand for these colors. This background, CCCC, is this color gray that you see over here. Now I can add anything I want. I can make it be uh, F3C3FF, and there we go. That is the number for that color of lavender. And I can also change the text color. 33C3 is a dark, 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 dark gray. Um, the title is um, zero, that's black. And uh, you see the, the text I think that they're talking about. Well, I don't even know. And of course, I might want to make my border the same color, for instance, as my background if I d didn't want to have a border. Okay? And this is especially useful if you're picking a color that matches an already existing color on your website and you want this to seem seamless without a box. Okay, so the next thing is to choose a font. Now, I've already set up an account default to be to Verdana, but you can select anything. It happens to be the AdSense default font family is Verdana. All right, so no change would happen. Um, times is another option. So you see that's the Times font. Or Arial, which is a, also sans serif-like uh, Verdana, but Verdana is a little bit wider. You see, it's a lighter-looking font and a little bit wider and so then for the uh, default I've got large you can pick small which is basically a tighter font medium a little bit larger and large which is your widest and you know, with a slight bit maybe a pixel or two of tallness added to it then you select your corner style I'll go with the slightly rounded corners you see it's just slightly rounded right there very rounded corners much more so rounded, okay? So, or you can go with square. This allows you to choose whether you're going to show public service ads or not, okay? Or you can select some non Google ads from another URL, say if you have another server that serves ads, another banner company that you go. Know, or you can just fill the empty space if there's no ad appearing with a solid color. This is in the event when there are no relevant ads available that are relevant to your page. So say you have a page that has nothing that the search terms show up and add for, bingo, they wouldn't show anything. But here I've got it so it at least shows public service ads in that if that ever happens. Then you could continue. Here's where you can create channels. Channels are kind of like categories. I'm going to make a channel just for the heck of it. And I'll call this um, oh, uh, front page. And this would be perhaps a category I give to all of my front page ads. It immediately puts it in here. You can remove it. Um, you can have a ton of these channels. You can select up to five custom channels. Okay. Let me just show you in this learn more. 
I believe it's 196 channels that you get to create. Let me see. Um, it's not jumping right out here. Under AdSense, radio button, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's a huge number of channels that you can create. So this isn't jumping out at me that's giving me the number. But it's something like 196, of which you can choose up to five custom channels um, to go with each particular ad in order to track the performance, as they say. So this lets you put certain ones under a common category, okay, like front page. You might have some that uh, are image ads. So you can have another category or channel, as they call it. It would be um, special image ads or something. Right, then you hit continue, and it gives it suggests a name. I recommend getting rid of the created part, uh, keeping the size that you selected, and maybe saying what kind of an ad it is. Like this was a text only, so perhaps put that there. Um, and say it's for my front page. I would indicate that this was front page one. Say I'm going to put seven of them there. Plaster my front page with ads. There's front page one, text only, 12, 120 by 600. Then you hit submit, and it gives you the code that you can paste in. I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure I really want to use this. And it doesn't let you delete ads that you've created. Okay? So we'll come back to this um, for the next video, and I'll tell you uh, a little bit more about how to manipulate all of this.